Hello, Michael Shell. We're going to be talking about our 10-point plan to make Gadsden grow again. Michael Shell for mayor, 28 August. Tuesday, 28 August. This year, about 61 more days from today. Uh, I've got notes on this. I want to go backwards, and I'm going to list all these 10 points briefly. They're on my website, michaelshellmayor.com. Uh, you know the number one point, so we're going to start with number 10 and go to number one. Number 10 is uh, promote 256 Gadsden nationally and internationally. That's what we need to do. We need to promote Gadsden everywhere, to Alabama, to the other states, and to the world. We've got a great city. We've got great people. It's time to have a great government. So we have a government that is growth-minded. Michael Shell will be a growth-minded mayor. And it's time to elect a growth-minded council so together we can make Gadsden grow again. And we can do that. That's point number 10, promoting our city. That, isn't that a simple concept? Just, you know, promoting our city and telling people about the property values that we have, the houses. How many, we've got houses all over the, the city of Gadsden that you can purchase today for fifty, sixty, seventy-five thousand dollars $75,000. In many cities, that's unheard of. These same homes would be a hundred, two hundred and seventy-five thousand. In many other states, uh, we can promote Gadsden, and that's not a hard deal to do. Uh, doing it right here, two five six Gadsden. Uh, we're using that phone number during our campaign. When we become mayor, we're going to use that to promote Gadsden to the to the world everywhere so they can dial in and find out more information about Gadsden, how to visit here. Number nine, counting backwards on our 10-point plan, number nine, sell as many city-owned properties as we can. You know, with Sherman being mayor, he, he's got a real estate background. Uh, I thought he would try to attract more businesses with that background. Indeed, that has not happened. He has tried to buy up Gadsden and bought so many properties. We need to liquidate as many properties as we can. Uh, the venue, the Convention Hall Plus, as I call it, where the remodeled Kmart, is $12 million of borrowed money. Uh, as mayor, if you elect Michael Shell Mayor, and I pray you will, that property is for sale with Michael Shell Mayor for $15 million. The city does not need to own that property. It needs to be in the hands of private ownership uh, that it could be managed and used efficiently. No city government manages property better than private individuals. Uh, like I'm saying, I'll say that again. Michael Shell is committed to making Gadsden grow again. One way we're going to do it is liquidate as many of the properties that, that Gadsden owns that we don't need to be owning. We don't need to be in the real estate business. Uh, the venue, as it's called, the convention Hall Plus is my name for it, because the convention hall accommodates about 800 people. The venue is going to accommodate 2,000 people, and that's nice. We're not going to have any big-name talent to have concerts and events to a 2,000-person arena. We've got to have a, a larger area to do that. We're going to talk, talk about that in just a minute. But we need to liquidate. And how are we going to do this? We're going to have a public auction. We're going to sell these properties and get out of the real estate business with Michael Shell Mayer and a brand new growth-minded council. Okay, I can't even read my writing here. Um, simplify, my goodness. If you're a business person, you know how crazy our sign ordinances are. Every sign has to be approved by the city council. They have to approve the size of the sign, the wording on the sign. With Michael Shell Mayer, we have a simple sign ordinance. If you can print your sign, in the Gadsden Messenger or the Gadsden Times. Put it up. Make it big and bold. That is the test. All you've got to do is print it in the Gadsden Messenger or Gadsden Times, and that is your test. Make your sign as big as you want it to be, as big as you can afford. No requirements, no permits needed. The city of Gadsden has tried to over-regulate everything in Gadsden, including signs, including business. If you open a business, you are open for business. You need to do anything you can to attract customers to your business. And we want that in Gadsden. As mayor, I want the cash registers running double time. Because if the business owner is collecting money, 
guess what he's also collecting? Sales taxes. And we want the cash registers running, so we have a steady stream of income, a steady stream of revenue. And we're going to talk about the employment tax, but that's later down here. Uh, that's another one. Okay, entice businesses to move to Gadsden. That is not going to be a hard sell. Uh, we've got the good phone number, 256 Gadsden. We can talk to other big companies. What about Google Gadsden, Facebook Gadsden, IBM Gadsden, any big company you can think? What about Goodyear Gadsden? I really believe in the business climate we have of we can get everything squared away in Gadsden the way it needs to be, get our house in order. I will be happy to visit Akron, Ohio, and visit the president of Goodyear and talk to them about moving their headquarters to Gadsden. Akron is okay, but they've been there many years. Goodyear would have a home in Gadsden, and we've got plenty of places for, for the employees to live, plenty of room to grow with the headquarters of Gadsden and other companies in Gadsden. Business is essential to our way of life. If you don't have a job, you don't have an income. So business is important, and we want to reach out and uh, attract any business. We're not going to be particular. If, it, if it's a business that has five people or 500 people, 5,000 people, we want every business. We're not discriminating. We want to grow Gadsden, and how are we going to do that? We're going to elect Michael Shell mayor, so we can make Gadsden grow again. Okay, streamline the building process. You know, how many houses have been tore down in Gadsden, a house that has been on a 50-foot lot for over 100 years. The city tears down the house because it's dilapidated or vacant or whatever the problems are. Then, on top of that, the city ordinances have been passed in, the, in their infinite wisdom that's not very good on wisdom, in my opinion. You cannot now build a house on a 50-foot lot. <laughs> With Michael Shell Mayor, you can. We've got too much land to be able to build properties. If you want to build a house that's 1,000 square feet or 10,000 square feet, you can on a 50-foot lot. And you say, how would you build a house that's that big on a 50-foot lot? Well, there is airspace. You could go up four, five, six, ten 10 stories high if you want to. Uh, that We're going to make building simple. We're going to simplify. We're going to make it so simple. We're going to have at least a dozen different house plans that's already pre-approved that you can download on a website. Uh, uh, and I don't have this together yet. We will get this, but we will get these house plans. They'll be basic uh, 12 different model houses. We'll have a cost estimate of what it would cost to build it. If you build it yourself or you have a builder to build it, we need home building going on in Gaston. More homes means more people, more families, more money, more business, more everything. Home building is something that we're going to work on and we're going to have more of with Michael Shell Mayor. Streamlining. Okay, create a regional airport with connecting flights. Now, yes, we have an airport, but it's basically just a fueling stop is all it is for private jets and commercial uh, um general aviation aircraft. Commercial aircraft, they could land at, at our airport. Uh, Trump could have landed his airplane. I believe it's a, a Boeing 727 or 37. I forget which number it is. But we can land a big jet like that at our airport. We can have connecting flights to uh, Atlanta, uh, Nashville, Houston, Dallas, we Charlotte. There's plenty of hubs that we can connect to to get people into Gadsden and get people of Gadsden out of here and go on vacation to do what they need to do and get back from our airport. The airport is one of the keys to our growth. With Michael Shell Mayor, we're committed to connecting flights in our airport. Okay. Number four, we're getting close to the top. We've got to have a civic center. Outdoors at first that accommodates 20, 25,000 people to have any big name talent for concerts. Ticket sales are essential to attract big name talent. Uh, this will be outdoors at first, like an amphitheater. Uh, build a nice stage, we can have uh, accommodating 20, 25,000 people. Ticket sales at, at 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars a piece, whatever the tickets are for different events. Uh, 
the money, the revenue is there to attract big name talent. That's part of the problem with the venue. A seating capacity of 2,000 people is not going to attract that many big name people. Kenny Chesney, I, I really like Kenny. I like country. I like many different forms of music, southern gospel. Uh, we, can, we can have concerts and events, and we need to. When Michael Shellmayer were committed to having concerts and events, a community church service. That Can you imagine 20,000 people in a community church service two or three times a year? Uh, that might help bring revival to our city, and we are in need of revival. There's, we have a lot of religious people in Gadsden, but they're religious but lost, just like I was. I was a Baptist before I was a Christian. Uh, being a Christian is not being a church member. Church membership is important, of course, but being a Christian is knowing Jesus personally. And when we know him, we want to associate with other Christians. We want to worship and worship together. And together we can with an outdoor civic center that accommodates 20, 25,000 people. We can have a community church service and do that two or three times a year. And I'm looking forward to attending those and being there with you. Okay, uh, let's see here. We've got, um, that's number four. The last three, I know I don't even need my paper because I hit these all the time because they are three very important points. Of course, we're talking about electing Michael Shell mayor. Why? Because we need to make Gadsden grow again. I'm a truck driver. I'm a simple person. I'm not well connected to anybody in Gadsden, nor do I want to be. I want everybody treated fairly and the same. Whether somebody moved here from New York City or somebody has lived here 75 years, I want everybody treated equally and fairly. And that can happen with Michael Shell Mayer and a brand new 100% growth-minded council. We need to replace every council member. Not one of them have suggested any of these 10 points. And I'm a truck driver. I've talked to people. I've developed this over several years. These points are simple. They're not difficult. But the council has not suggested doing any of these. They don't want to have an amphitheater that seats 20, 25,000 people. They don't want to grow. They don't want connecting flights. If they wanted it, we would have it already. They've had plenty of time. They've passed plenty of ordinances of things that we cannot do but they don't really help us grow because they are not growth-minded. So we must elect Michael Shell Mayer and a 100% brand-new growth-minded council. Point number two, one of my favorites. It's the second favorite because it is number two on my 10-point plan to make gas and grow again. Term limits. Two terms is enough for anybody. It's enough for Michael Shell as mayor. It's enough for our brand-new growth-minded council. Two terms is enough for any elected office in Gadsden. And I support term limits for every elected office. But I'm just looking to be mayor of Gadsden. I'm not looking to do anything in Washington or Montgomery. I want to be your mayor uh, so we can make Gadsden grow again. And one of the biggest points, number one, and this one, is, is it, it's resonated with almost everybody I speak to. Uh, people that don't live in Gadsden, it really pisses them off and it affects them eliminating the 2% employment tax. The city of Gadsden calls it an occupational tax. They've got a very fancy title for that, but it's an employment tax. They punish work. They choose to take 2% of your check, your hard-earned money, just for the pleasure of working in the city of Gadsden with Michael Shell Mayer and a brand new 100% growth-minded council. We're committed to eliminating the 2% employment tax so we can make Gadsden grow again. Now, I've just reviewed our 10 points just briefly. These are 10 starting points. We could have 100 points to a plan, but we've got to start somewhere. These 10 points will revitalize and change Gadsden within the first six months or less of you electing Michael Shell Mayor. I promise you it will. How can I say that? The 2% employment tax alone brings in over a million dollars a month to the city of Gadsden. In other words, the 2% the employment tax sucks out of your pocket and gives to the city over a million dollars a month. We eliminate that. You've got that money back in your pocket. You can spend it how you want to. 
and we're going to still be collecting sales taxes on every dollar spent that way. We're not losing taxes. We're changing the attitude in Gadsden, but with a new mayor, with Michael Shell Mayor. Why? Because we want to make Gadsden grow again. I know you want to see our city grow. We've got a lot of good people. So many I've met already, still continuing to meet more people. But it's time we have a good government, a good honest government, a good growth-minded mayor and council. So together we can make Gadsden grow again. Share this video. Thank you for watching. More videos at michaelshellmayor.com, Michael Shell Mayor on Facebook, and Michael Shell Mayor on YouTube. Thank you. God bless you. I pray you have a good week. Thank you for all your kind words and support. Do not forget our phone number, 256-GASDEN. Listen to our two-minute message there that shares in a brief form what we've just shared here, 256-GASDEN. It's 423-7336. 256-423-7336. 256-GASDEN. Easy to remember. Thank you. God bless you. We'll see you next time.